Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And today I want to share with you a flip through of a real unique coloring book. I have not seen this kind of coloring book before. It's called Dimensions and the artist is Francois Gautier. I'm sorry, but I've never heard of him, but I'm glad I discovered his book. It's a 3D inspired coloring book. So he's put all the shading in and all you have to do is just color it and automatically the lighter areas will come forward like in this bug here and the background will be uh, in the back background and it'll look three dimensional. So I'm anxious to try this. I've never tried it, but I want to share it with you in a flip through. If you're interested in this book at the end of the video, I will have in the description a link where you can purchase this and it's very budget friendly. The paper is excellent. It's nice cardstock paper. So here, let's look at the back. He has an illustration here, a little um, information at the top. And uh, here we go. I would like to try this picture. It looks awesome. Here's information that he's a designer and up who edited this and, and helped him uh, with the cover design. And I'm going to move it here because these are single sided. They're on great paper. That's a great cardstock. And uh, they're not perforated, but I think when you color in this book, you'll want to keep your pictures in here. You can always take them out if you have to. Okay, this is your copyright information, and the publisher is Penguin Random House. Plume is the division. And from the artist, he gave you a very um, little note here about the easiest way to color it, and I'm going to do that. So let's take a look. Now this is a, uh, an astronaut, and here are butterflies, and he's falling. That one is going to be really neat. I think I might color that first thing out. I don't know. But um, let's take a look. This is the front of the book. I just love this tiger one. I think that I can just picture these colored. A neat design here, pattern. Pinocchio, and that is adorable. The way he's reaching up, he becomes three, the three-dimensional character here. And this one uh, has a black background. There's a, some in here that have already a black background on them. So I'm looking forward to that. Beautiful flower. This is an Indian type headdress and design in the back. I love this. These are already looking three-dimensional and I haven't colored it yet. This is the one that I think is uh, on the back cover. Again, all you do is color this and it's already shaded for you. No guesswork at all. And you can use markers, it's single-sided. Koi fish, I love that. Another black background. Oh, 
Um, I think he's a very unique artist. So for those of you that feel um, that you can't shade well or you're not sure how to, this book would really be probably a very easy one to do and you would uh, start learning where the shading is. Great, great book. I love the quality of the book. Ooh, some Russian stacking dolls. I did some from Kirby Rosanis. These would be interesting to do from Francois Gautier. And this big cathedral, wow. Here's an Asian picture that I definitely will color. There's a lot of detail to it, but boy, it is so going to look so nice when it's finished. Another black background. I like coloring dragons like this. I like coloring snakes, too. A knight on a horse with his armor on. Look at these staircases and hallways. And a beautiful lock that's three-dimensional. An old steam locomotive coming through a tunnel. And that's the book. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you are interested in it, like I said earlier in the video, just check out my link below. And until we meet again, happy coloring.